Hello, Patriot Contraptions here, and we're back with my homemade cargo bicycle build. Yes, it's been a long haul. We're on part five of this series. I can't believe it myself. It's turning out great. But I have yet to have an official cargo bay. Now, I know I showed it with a cargo bay in my previous video, but this was not the actual bay that was meant to be on it. I never finished it at that point. This was simply a box which I had connected onto it. And while it worked okay, it was unstable, and I had only zip-tied it on. So today, we're finishing the actual cargo bay for the bicycle. I decided to make the bottom section for this cargo bay out of 3 quarter inch plywood, and the top section here, which is grooved, out of half inch plywood. This is because I don't want to actually weld anything to the bike at this point. I want it to be removable. Hence, I put PVC stabilizers on it to keep it centered on the bottom track, so it wouldn't have to drill into the frame. I then went ahead and added quarter inch plywood walls to the sides of the box, with a one piece of 2x4 just to add strength to the front section, as this will be taking a lot of weight, and I don't want it slipping off to either side. Now, because of that, I also ended up deciding to add a half inch support as well near the back as shown here. It has two grooves in it, one for the top bar, one for the bottom bar, and four screws drilled straight to the back of the box itself. I then coated the entire box in polyacrylic. This will create a waterproof coating so if I ever get stuck in the rain while riding this, I won't have to worry about this. Now be sure to check out my other videos about how I actually made this bike and also my three-wheel bike build, the predecessor to this one. And as always, have a fantastic day, and be sure to subscribe. Patriot Contraptions, signing out.